Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we look at a future problem. I've been looking into the future and there is a problem. Um, and it's a little bit complicated. Uh, so please bear with me in this episode. I have a lot to say. Um, and you're going to learn a few things about me. All right. So, the MSI. Mag. 240R, AIO all-in-one liquid cooler for the beast, the Alder Lake 12700 CPU liquid cooler. This thing is doing a great job cooling my CPU. Really nice, really, really, it, it, I'm impressed by the performance, really good. So the performance is not the issue. Now, you may not know, or I know you don't know this about me, but I have a Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry. So I like chemistry. And in the future, I hope to add a bit of chemistry into the channel. And might as well start now. And we're gonna do some biochemistry, biological chemistry, because what is happening to this? What happened? So on Greg Salazar's channel, he had a viewer that was having problems with his CPU heating way up and didn't know what the problem was. Well, Greg finally drained out the AIO and all this red stuff and green stuff and whatnot was coming out. So what happens if you get a bit of bacterial growth inside that closed system, oxygen starts moving around, right? The, bi the biological activity of the bacteria and that oxygen starts reacting with what? The metals, it starts corrosion. Bits of metal start flaking off bacteria and it's just feeding off each other the corrosion and the bacterial growth and what happened all this gunk just blocked up everything and there was no flow that's what happens so if i sit here and i wait three five six months supposedly what's going to happen is I'll start hearing a clicking, and then my temps will shoot up. I go return the thing, I get a replacement, it happens again in six months, and the warranty's up. It's a one year warranty. Because you don't get an additional year every time you return something. You get a total year for if you've got 10 units or one unit or whatever, that's it. So I don't want these problems. I don't want them. So I have decided to change the liquid in that AIO cooler. Now I have found some stuff. Let me, let me grab my notes. One moment. Okay. Ah, let's see, what do we got here? All right, I found some good stuff that's got a seven-year shelf life. It's a non-toxic ethylene glycol coolant. All right. And it has a five-year system life. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And it's a patented mix. Mm-hmm. Pet and human safe. That's good. Stable long-lasting dyes, mate. Oh, I don't care about the dyes because it's in a closed system. You don't see any of the liquid. Okay. Biocide. New formula for extreme cooling. Corrosion and protection protects all metals used in current cooling system, which is very important because aluminum or aluminum, it is only good at a very narrow pH range. What is pH? pH, you can think of it as a measurement of acid. Okay, low, like a pH of one, 
is like what Coca-Cola is down there, that's acidic. Yeah, it's, it's like two pH two or something like that. It's very low. And that's why it rots your teeth, it'll dissolve your teeth. Trust me, if all you do is drink Coke and you don't brush your teeth, your teeth are gonna turn black. I've seen it happen. Okay. You know who I'm talking about. And, Dr. Mackay, Dr. Mackay. And, I digress, sorry, I, I shouldn't say that word. I, uh, I'm going off on a tangent. There you go, tangent. A tangentitude, okay. What else have we got here? Oh, this formulation will last over twice as long as our existing solution with resilient biocides, which kill bacteria, and inhibitors. This makes it more suitable to small form-factor PCs. All-in-one cooling solutions and high heat load systems utilizing multiple graphic car array setups. Ooh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I think so. All right. And by the way, you're probably wondering, it is perfect for use in carbon dioxide, oh no, cobalt-2. And cobalt-2 lasers, chillers, and solar environmental systems due to its improved heat transfer characteristics and lower dynamic viscosity. Visco viscosity is like thickness, okay? So the more fix viscous a solution is, the more sort of gooey and slow moving like a gel kind of, you know? High viscosity. Low viscosity would be like uh, drinking alcohol. Alcohol, that's very low. Lower than water, okay? All right. All right. It contains a new form of synergistic corrosion inhibitors to protect metals commonly found in aluminum, aluminum also, gobber, brass, steel, plated water cooling box. It has been independently tested and found to meet various corrosion standards. Oh, sounds impressive and you can dilute it to all sorts of different concentrations. So it's gonna come in a, a 100 mil bottle. So not very, very much, 100 mils, milliliters. And um, you could add 900 milliliters of water to that 100 mil milliliters and you would have a liter solution, which by no means, there's no way I'm gonna need that much. But that's the most dilute you want it. So in other words, I can make it quite concentrated. And those biocides, the corrosion inhibitors, oh, they just enjoy it. Enjoy the environment. So I'm thinking I could make like a 50% solution of it, okay? And in fact, they give me some temperatures here. So at 54%, it will go down to minus 40 degrees C. Oh, really? So, uh, looks like it will go to about 37, 50%, let's see, maybe 38 degrees C. Um, and and down, in, down in those temperatures, the Fahrenheit and the Celsius sort of catch up to each other, so to speak. So did you know that 40 degrees C is the same as 40 degrees Fahrenheit? I mean, minus. 40 degrees C is the same as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, that's what it says here. The paper don't lie. Okay. All right. So, you see my predicament. If I don't do anything, I, this bad stuff's going to happen. I just know it. So I looked at 49, or I, I collected 49 one-star reviews for, from the world's biggest online retailer. And the number of one of one star reviews was 12%. That's really high. 
okay? And my guesstimate would be that 10%, so a total of 10% had the exact symptoms, either the clicking or the high temperatures or both. And when they got a replacement, it happened to the replacement. So, I just don't want these bad things to happen. I want to sit, I've got a Corsair. Um, in my old system, I've got a Corsair from 2017 AIO, and that baby's still going. All right, no problems ever with it. No sounds, great cooling. I've never replaced, replaced the thermal paste, and that's five, over five years. Yeah, just on five years, because it was actually built five years ago, okay? So that's what I bought. I put the best thermal paste on that baby in there, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but I've got some left. So that's all right. I've got some that I can put back on, which when I look at things, I'm gonna have to take it off. I'm gonna take and, and you know, have to drain it and fill it. So while we're on that subject, let's go have a look at the system. This is it. The Alder Lake Beast, and we are looking at the MSI Mag 240R, and the pump is in the radiator. Okay, it's not, it's not here. That's just a water block. Okay, um, it's up in the radiator, um, but there's can't hear any air in the system. You can't hear the water sloshing around in there. So that's gonna be important for me to really fill it up the tip top with as little air as possible. Okay. Um, now, with the bacterial growth and the corrosion, there could be gases being created. Carbon dioxide, which then makes the solution more acidic, turns into carbonic acid, um, which is not good. Okay, so um, there's all sorts of chemistry that can happen in there once the bacteria, al algae, but it may not be algae, but bacteria, because algae usually needs some um, uh, sunlight. Anyways, um, the bugs are growing inside, okay? And as it mixes with the metals, like I said, problems happen and metals react with oxygen, okay? Like iron reacts with oxygen and that is called rust, okay? So let's have a look a bit closer in, right over here. We've got, looks like the fill port is right there, okay? So, if I tried to just drain this thing and then fill it I, and leave that on there, I think that would be a bit awkward. And I'm not so sure it would be safe. I might damage something. That's what I'm worried about. So I'm just, think, yeah, just at least take this fan off. I might have to take the other fan off as well, which is no big drama, and take the whole thing out. And I think that probably will be the wisest thing to do. Then I'll have to clean off the thermal paste with rubbing alcohol from the CPU and then put some more on. And that's fine, that's fine. So, that's the culprit. Oh. Here at the top of the case, right here, you see a black square right there? That's the pump, okay? So I think what's happening is that, um, you know, you're getting bacteria growth, you're getting clumps of stuff being grown and um, uh, bits of metal flaking off, and it then is getting trapped in the pump and the pump starts making a clicking noise, 
because of all the rubbish inside it. Um, and so, you know, it may happen all of a sudden. You get uh, a few chunks of rust flake off and then they're sort of just cascades um, hitting the, the other bits along the walls and then, oh my gosh, and then you get your clicking noise, okay, from all that rubbish in there trapped inside the pump. Ah, and it's not pumping the liquid as it should, and the temps go up because the liquid is not being pumped and cooled properly. Well, don't bite me. Oh, don't put your claws in me. Look at who it is, look who it is. You're on TV. This cat is 22 years old. That's right, 22. All right, you want down? Yeah, you go. Well, if you'd like to see what happens with this AIO as I drain it, and refill it, subscribe and you'll get notified when that video is ready. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary, and don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.